Welcome to Kenna Metal in Asheboro, North Carolina. What we have here, we've got a Rollomatic 528XW. It's a five axis machine with a wheel changer. We're gonna show you what it's like to grind a Harvey 3 end mill. Here we're gonna show grinding of a Harvey 3 here in a Rollomatic. Obviously, we don't normally grind dry. Normally, we've got cooling going, but here you can see it a little bit better. So we're starting off with flute grinding. And the uh, Harvey 3's got a tapered core. So all that's being taken into account right now. So we've got a variable spacing to the flute. So mathematically, the machine knows exactly what to do to follow both that variable index, follow that helix angle. It's setting the rake angle right now as part of this process in the flute shape of the flute, shape of the core. All right, so we've gone from flute grinding. Now we're doing the eccentric relief. So we talk about the eccentric relief and how important that is on the Harvey 3. So this is your radial relief or relief in the radial direction. Uh, this is the other side of creating that cutting edge and making sure that it's properly sharp. All right, we're going to have a wheel package change here. Take that package out. This is what we call a cup and gash package. So we've got a cup wheel on the front, a gash wheel. So we're making the main gash section of the Harvey 3 right now. If you look at the end of a Harvey 3, you'll see that there's actually different gashes. We've got a set of what we call long gashes, which are on your center cutting teeth, versus what we call short gashes that are on your non-center cutting teeth taking care of all of that, setting in the bottom of that gash, opening it up properly. Now we're moving into what we call the corner radius gash, or spiral gash. So what this is doing is this is putting another little rake surface along the edge that's going to be formed along the radius. And that really helps with the strength of that edge. It gives us a good stable cut, but also really reduces chipping quite a lot. Now we're doing the notching operations, RV3, six flute. So along those two center cutting flutes on the end, we're going to put a little notch in the end. That's that extra grind you see on the face of it. Now we're moving into doing the relief on the end. This is establishing a couple different angles. So one would be the actual relief angle, the axial relief angle on the end face of the end mill. The other would be what we call the dish angle. The dish angle basically is kind of like a fishtail almost on the end of the end mill, and that's what sets up your clearance to be able to ramp especially, and to make sure that you don't drag the floor of your part. We've got two angles there. We did the primary and the secondary, two clearance angles. All right, we're gonna swap wheel packs again. Now what we're doing is we're doing the relief along the corner radius. So when we get finished, we'll have the spiral gash that went along the radius, and then this is actually putting the shape of the radius on as well as the relief to that radius. So that gives us both sides of the wedge angle for that one. On a larger radius like this, we also have two reliefs, a primary relief and a secondary relief. So same thing here, we did the secondary relief first, now we're coming back and we're putting the primary relief on. That's what's actually going to be the one along the cutting edge that's finishing off that cutting edge and creating the wedge angle. Alright, there you have it, the cycle's finished, let's go inspect it. We'll start the inspection process, run through a couple steps here. Machine's going to find the tool, so this is a full CNC inspection machine. Needs to know where the tool is. We're holding the tool in a hydraulic holder, so it's really accurate. Found the edge, it's going to move in. Now it needs to find the actual flute edge. And from that, we can start going through and measuring all the geometry related to that edge. So we'll check helix angle, we'll check radial rake, 
check relief angle. What's really cool is how it does the lights. It's actually trying to create different reflections so that it can make it easy on the processor to pick up that edge and calculate it. Okay, now we've got the final result. Everything looks green, everything's in tolerance. We're good to keep grinding.